All right, we're streaming live. Mark, thank you for joining me. This is Tony Madsen for the Wild Cardinal Network. We're out here live from the Fairhope uh, Manly Soccer Complex, where the girls have just started playing against uh, Orange Beach this evening. How you doing, Mark? I'm great. Today I got Mark great Flynn. Day. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Mark, but I got Mark Flynn on the camera for me. Thank you, Mark. He's going to play the second game this evening on Slate is the uh, boys uh, varsity soccer against Orange Beach. And they'll uh, play about 7 o'clock this evening or just after this game. Yeah, hopefully the weather stays warm. It's a really nice day. No wind. Great conditions. And they're just, just when I started the live stream, they were perhaps 30 seconds into the uh, game or so. And I'll let... Uh, I'll let Mark get experience with both the camera and uh, commentary while I try to set up a scoreboard. So I will do my best. Okay, thanks again. Go through uh, as many people as you can recognize in the starting lineup for everybody. Oh, man. I don't. I see number you. six, man. Uh, that would be uh, Katie Ford, I think. Yes. And then. If you can, I'll get you a roster, too. We'll get everything set up and going here. So but do the best you can. Number eight is Francesca. It is going to be a free kick for the Makos. Good I'm defense there, Mark. Mark. We're almost there. We're working on getting a scoreboard. I'll try to put a clock on there with an estimated time on there for everyone. Now, Mark, you're a junior out at St. Michael? I am. Getting towards the end of the year. Finals coming up. Can't wait for summer, though. We are on a bright, sunny afternoon, and it is hard to see a computer screen. We can get somebody else to, I got another camera set up, but we can get another camera person. We'll do that. I'll run, I'll run that as well once we get going here. That's control panel, that's what we need. Did anyone else um, send a message to that they were coming? They did not. We got no other volunteers this evening, Mark. Hopefully, maybe Sam Edmiston is going to show up a little bit early for the game. Now, I believe. Uh, Orange Beach and St. Michael uh, are tied for the lead in 4A Region 1. I have heard that the Orange Beach girls are very good. They're both uh, now 5-0 and o in region play, and the uh, playoffs coming up. So, And they play them twice yet. They'll travel to Orange Beach, I believe, Thursday. We'll check on that. They are tied for first place, as are the boys, are they not? Or I think so. I don't think we've lost any area games. So, big game for both the boys and girls varsity soccer teams this evening. Getting real close to playoff time and the end of the season, regular season. Most exciting part. And away is Orange Beach Makos. That's a shark, by the way. It's supposed to be the fastest shark. Is that true? That's what I read. 
I did not know that. Not up to date on my shark facts. <laughs> oh. All right, it is zero to zero. They put 40 minutes on the clock at the beginning of the game. Let's say there's 35 in there, you think? Yeah, somewhere like I'm that. I'm going to go with that, and we'll go with that as far as the unofficial. Hoping that's counting up. We don't want that. We want it to count down. I guess we could do either. There we go. First half, zero, zero, Orange Beach. All right, there we go. We got the graphic up. Zero, zero here on a Tuesday evening, the day after tax day, April 16th, 2024. Mark Flynn and Tony Madsen for the Wild Cardinal Network. We'll see about getting a second camera set up just for giggles because I got nothing else to do. Why not? Maybe we can get somebody to run it, volunteer to run it. All right, we're up for level. Great closing down there by the defense on the Cardinals. That was great. Love to see that hard work. I don't see any reason. I don't see any reason camera two shouldn't be ready to go. So let's try. There it is. How about that? And we also have a Mevo camera on the desk. Turn around and say hi, Mike. Mark, sorry. Turn around and say hi to the camera. Hey. Live out at uh, Manly Complex. There was a shot by the Cardinals. I think it deflected over out for a corner kick. Oh, let me get a roster. Coach DB is usually very good at giving me a roster before the game, but I didn't really get a chance to see him this evening. Hopefully we got last week's roster. I'm sure I do. Taken short, but it didn't work. All right, I have a roster. So we can kind of get an idea who's out there. Like I said, uh, number six, we saw Katie Ford just because she was in my sight. We also see number five is uh, Jenna Thompson. Number seven at midfield right now is Alicia Christensen. Number three is Lizzie Stroud. She's out at midfield as well. I also see uh, 18 out there, Dela Anderson. You got Katie Ford closest to the camera right now, number six. Number nine 
is Sabrina Polito. Number eight, Francesca Aureliano. I'm going to go with that. And who else do we got out there? Now, Maddie Key, number 11. The ball has gone out for a goal kick. And Tatum Hoffman, number 13, is oh, out there as well. My bad, it is a free kick for the Mega. Number 23 is Isabel Wingbermule. I'm going to go with that name as well. Hopefully, if they're here, they come in correctly, or if I'm wrong. Isabel is out there, number 23. And. Uh, at uh, goalkeep for us, uh, number 19, Reagan Gregory. She's just a seventh grader. That's Katie Ford, closest to the camera, number six. Number nine right there working in on the action is Sabrina, Sabrina Polito. That was Maddie Key with the kick right there. Is that number 11? It is. I'm trying to get a little bit of a look at what they're doing. She wears orange shoes. That's going to be easy to remember. There's Tatum Hoffman. Shot on goal. By number eight, that's Francesca. Francesca just has orange tape. No, she has orange and green shoes, so... was Jenna, number five. Good win there on defense from Lizzie. Sticking with it. Using her speed to get to it and beat her there. Down towards Katie Ford in the corner. She's crossed the middle towards Tatum. That's Maddie Key, number 11. Jenna Thompson, closest to the camera with the back to there, number five. And Mark, I'm going to uh, admit once again, I know very little about soccer and what they're, they're really trying to do out there as far as offense and defense other than score goals. So there's a shot on goal. A little bit high, though. I believe that was by uh, Francesca. Well... Well, I don't know how the girls are coached on tactics. I will tell you that the boys are a very uh, ball movement oriented team. We like to move the ball around and if it's not perfect, we'll just pass it back and try again and try all of our options until we find what we want and that's when we attack. Worked well for you so far this year, having a very good season. Mm -hmm. Sure has. Now, the win. girls, look, that last year they lost in the state championship game, so they're looking for a, a good long run into the playoffs this fall, this spring, pardon me. And out of bounds, a throw in for uh, St. Michael. And that's 18, Dela Anderson. 
kind of just calling them off as I, I, I see them kind of the numbers pop up in front of the uh, what would be the camera view. I'll let you know who's all out there at the moment. They had senior night about, what, uh, two weeks ago? Well, right before spring break, didn't they? Mm -hmm. We went quite a while there without any soccer after, during spring break. What did you do at spring break, Irma? Oh, I just hung out around the house, went to the beach, kind of relaxed. I didn't go anywhere, but... Well, we are a destination, aren't we, for spring break? Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're very close to what would be a destination. Although, when I went to Gulf Shores... There weren't very many people at the beach. Well, they, they've really cut down with the restrictions that they, uh, and that's, you know, their prerogative, of course. We've all seen the videos of Fort Walton Beach, and that's yeah, not necessarily something I want my child to uh, engaging in. Cleared by the Makos. Bring it all the way back. It's Alicia Christensen, and then across the way, number five is in front of your camera there, Jenna Thompson. Number 18, Dale Anderson. She has black shoes. Now, Mark, if the uh, ball comes at the camera, it's it's... Sacrificing all your body. I will do my best. <laughs> Put my goalkeeper skills <laughs> to use. And it started at five o'clock, so I imagine there's around fifteen minutes gone in the uh, in the half. Hit the ref. It's going to be a drop ball. And again, both these teams are 5-0 and oh in 4-AR1 play. They'll play each other again after tonight. Got a free kick in a dangerous spot for the Makos. And a yellow card. Yellow card. The challenge. Who's that on? I saw it held up. But I don't know who it was for. Well, who's, it's a, uh, a Mako going off the field, so... But it's a Mako kicking the ball. So Something confusing. Been said confusing. Or, confusing. Or done. Either way. Well, a Mako is not kicking the ball yet. And nobody's kicking the ball yet. Free kick here. It certainly looked like a Mako was subbed right there. So um, we're assuming the uh, yellow card was for them. Yeah, ref talking to their coach. Must have been. Either way. Coach free VD kick. would right, be right on top of it if it was us. So. We'll see what they do with this kick. All right, so next Monday, actually, the uh, boys and girls travel to Orange Beach. That's not their final game. They do play uh, at Bayside then Tuesday. So three more games on the slate for the boys, two more for the girls. Uh, there is a the boys play Fairhope uh, at WC Majors Field on Friday. And if I can get anybody like Mark to join me, we'll be up there for that as well. So Off a defender. Out for a goal kick. And we are going to scout out the uh, Bayside facilities this weekend. And if we can bring you the final soccer games of the year, we're going to do that as well. Now, Mark, are you uh, going to be helping us in the fall for the uh, inaugural season of the football broadcast? Um, I'm not sure. We haven't um, selected our electives yet for school. Um, now, I do, do have academics I do, first. I have one space left for a class, and I do need an elective credit, so I'll put this down. I'm going to talk a little bit about that tonight. We're 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 doing shameless plugs for the Wild Cardinal Network as we are getting ready to kick off the inaugural sponsored season of the Wild Cardinal Network with the football season next fall. We're going to have an 11 person crew, five cameras, a roving reporter. And then uh, a producer, an engineer, and three people in the booth. So that's exciting. And we're asking for, we're looking for sponsors. If you're interested, 
if you have a family business or just want to come on board and, and uh, promote something, give us a call or, or get a hold of Jerry Marlowe or myself through St. Michael. And it's jerry.marlow at stmichaelchs.org or tony.madsen at stmichaelchs.org. And we will get you in the right direction for the sponsorship form. Like who's on the ball. I'll show you. Oh, you got a volunteer for the camera, did you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, let's... Uh... Okay, thank you. What's your name, man? Go ahead and show him your orange camera. Since that's up and running. And that's what's being broadcast, I hope. I better look at that. I'm standing in front of the screen this evening, so I'm just letting one camera do the work. Yep, we got them. Camera's moving, so... And Mark is uh, helping us with a new volunteer. Yeah, see, there's only one live at a time, and that one's the one that's live. So we want to do the action, follow the action the best we can there. So is, what's this guy doing? It's doing nothing. It's just there. It's on. I can switch to it if, like, if I put it on the corner or something like that. But just the uh, two of us going. So what do you want me to do? Oh, go ahead. Grab it. Awesome. I thought you were leaving us or something. I can move it down to the corner. Yes, you can move it. Pick it up and move it. Set it. Uh, no, you don't have to go down the corner. Just move it ahead a couple of feet so you can talk on the thing here. And then I'll, I'll remember what we just a little bit back, a little bit back, so he can get to the corner. Um, there you go. And then uh, just like football, wide and and way. And we'll uh, tell us your name, man, man, again. Max. M -A -X. Max. Yes, sir. What's your last name, Max? Cox. Max Cox. Thank you, Max. I'm gonna say it too. You got that. I got a third one right here. Go ahead. I'll have you just listen for a second there, Max. All right. Can you hear us? You hear all right? Okay. He's the, oh, he's the blue right there. Okay. Can you hear us now, Max? Okay. Yeah, we'll let's leave that down. We're just going to go ahead and listen to us for just a second, Max. We're going to coach Max. And go ahead, uh, grab that camera. We I'm not switching between them yet. I'll go and I'll sit behind after we get you guys set up on the cameras here. Um, but kind of what we do is when they're down on this end of the field, you follow the ball, okay? And when they get down on this end of the field, you get wide, and you let all, like all 22 in the, in the shot, okay? And then you, you got all 22 down here, he's getting the, the ball, and then you get the ball when they go down there, okay? Got it. You zoom when they're away from you is the deal. Okay. All right, Max, I got your uh, microphone on too. Here goes right there. Oh, okay, I got you. I'm gonna set it up for you. There you go. Thank you. All right, I can hear you. You can hear me. All right. Now that everybody's set up, and we'll get you. Here's a picture, Max. Turn around and wave at the camera. There you go. Right there. Another volunteer for the Wild Cardinal Network. We are taking volunteers, by the way. And again, we're looking for sponsors. So, Max, you thinking about taking there? broadcasting next year? Oh, uh, what kind of class is it? Well, we. Don't it's an elective out at uh, St. Michael. We're going to get together a crew to do what just what you're doing right now and film the uh, football games, basketball games next year. Okay, I got you. I believe it will also count as a fine art credit. Wait, it will. Do you need two of those to graduate? Yeah. And I think you're going to get uh, in-service points or something for, for running a camera as well. Really? Perhaps. Don't, uh, don't need, quote me on that. I need that this year. We would love to have that, but we're... So we're trying to get as many students involved as we can. Yeah, I, hope I didn't let the cat out of the bag there or something. Um, but <laughs> but Max, what we're looking at doing is have an eleven-person crew at the uh, football squad uh, oh, okay. teams. That that would include five manned cameras, okay, a roadside reporter, an engineer, a producer, and then three people in the booth: a play-by-play -play commentator and then an analytical guy Dang. who also inputs the stats. That's like a whole crew there. Should ESPN come running? Yeah. We can just, hey, just plug in. We'll be ready to go. 
I'll try to keep an eye on substitutions a little bit yeah. and switch between the two camera views as, as best I can. It's, it's really difficult to see the computer screen at the moment as both cameramen are actually kind of fighting that as well, trying to see yeah. a screen. Yeah, we've got the little covers there. So we'll do the best we can. Out here on a bright sunny day, we're Fairhope at the Manly Soccer Complex. Again, St. Michael taking on Orange Beach. Two 4A Region 1 opponents, both undefeated in region play. Still 0-0, zero, zero, right, Mark? I didn't, it is. Okay. I didn't score. And, I, and this is a region game as well, too. Yes. Yep, that's why it's a big game. And they play each other twice. They'll travel to Orange Beach next Monday. Well. Finish off with another area game against Bayside on Tuesday. They beat Bayside last week at a game right here. Two to nothing, if I remember right. And that was the score of the boys game. They beat uh, Bayside as well last week at a sc with the score of two to nothing. Yes, it was a yeah. great night for the Cardinals soccer. I believe it was last Friday. And our scorekeeper is number 19, Reagan Gregory, seventh grader. I'll tell you what, though. She might be in seventh grade, but she is a very good goalkeeper. Really? There's a reason she's playing. Coach Daughtery talks very highly of her. Okay. Obviously wouldn't have her back there in a starting position on a yeah. team that went to the state championship game last year as a seventh grader if he didn't think highly of her. And what she can do behind there. And, and she's obviously just going to get better. Yeah. Certainly. Especially being in seventh grade, plenty of time to you know, get your mistakes out, learn from it, become a better player. Seventh grade, though, that's pretty insane as a varsity. Starting varsity? I think she's started every game so far. Really? I did not know that. It's pretty impressive. Physically, of course, she would get develop into the role as well. Just as a seventh grader, she's going to she's going to grow. She doesn't look very old when she stands down there right now in the in these sidelines. I guess there's an injury timeout. Yeah, it looks like somebody's down. I don't know what number there. Looks like an Orange Beach player. Sorry. And Lindsay Fitz is out taking care of her. Good old Miss Fitz. She sure does take care of all of us. She's at all home games. And even some away games. Very interesting young lady as well, coming from Texas. And an interesting background. She has a background in soccer. Yeah. Played uh, Division One soccer. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, at the University of Houston, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. I want to see some highlights of her, like, playing. That would be pretty cool. That would be cool. I know our school does think highly of her. I know we made a video for her, thanking her for everything she does for us. Yeah. Had a, people from all different sports, age, grade, everything. And we're hoping I'm going to stop my clock right there um, for a little while. Anyway, we had an unofficial clock that's up in the corner of your screen. It's still zero to zero. I would guess there's approximately 15 minutes left um, in the uh, in the game. Uh, the clock there says 12-11. I did let it run for a little while while that injury timeout was going. I'm going to reset that, put 14 minutes up there. Um, and when they start playing again, we'll, we'll we'll guess that that's what it is. And there's the injured player just helped off the she field. So hopefully it's up. okay. Yeah. Best well. wishes for the Orange Beach player. Hopefully just a stretched ankle or something along those lines. Mark the... The jerseys with the long sleeves and the three different colors, those are the goalie jerseys, I guess? They are, yeah. Those are some cool jersey jerseys. Yeah, those are cool jerseys. Same. Ours are ours are pretty boring. We've got, yeah. <laughs> we've got gray, I think, or black. We've got yellow and highlighter. Me and my brother always talk about, like, the jerseys for, like, all the teams. Mm -hmm. And I was saying uh, the football team could definitely do it. And I think, I think they would uh, blackout would be pretty cool. But I feel like a soccer blackout would be pretty nice, too. Yeah, I do like the look of the blackout jerseys. Although our school colors do not yeah. include black, I think it could work for just about anyone. Oh, yeah. Well, we have uh, the black uh, 
long sleeve jerseys for game days. I know uh, I have one. They sold them last year. I don't know if they sold them this year or not, but they are nice. Well, I would like to see that. Here come some more of the uh, St. Michael boys players as we get a little bit closer to halftime. So I'm, I'm guessing there's around 14 minutes or 15 minutes to go in the game. They kicked off right at uh, 5 o'clock. And there's been about a three or four minute stoppage here for injury. And there's a whistle. It's going to be a throw in for the Makos. And goal kick. Goal kick, yep. Again, Max Cox and Mark Flynn helping us out tonight. Thank you, gentlemen. Oh, offsides is going to be called. Oh. Unfortunate. Looked like it could have been dangerous there. They'll get another chance. And you said this is the first half, right? This is the first okay. half. I just came a little bit later, so I wasn't sure. Nice header there. Number 23 over there is Isabel Wingbermule. She's about to throw it in for us. Also over there is number 22, Nora Weldon Montgomery. She snuck in the game on me. I didn't see her substitute in. Uh, that guy's a crop duster or something. <laughs> flying low. Low, low flying <laughs> plane. There's Katie Ford. Good ball there. Katie Ford has one speed. That's wide open. Number 21 is uh, Caroline Callahan is working towards the middle of the field. There's a shot on goal by number nine. And over. Uh, and Sabrina Polito just over the top of the goal, though. Not a bad shot. No, it wasn't. I think out of the opportunities so far, I think the Cardinals had the best one. It has been fairly even game. Still 0-0. Goal kick there by Orange Beach. And that's Nora. Nora Weldon Montgomery. 22. Working in the middle of the field there. That's Maddie Key, number 11. Out to Katie Ford. And the ball's going to go out of bounds for St. Michael over down in the corner. Jenna Thompson as she throws it in for St. Michael towards the goal. Bit of an opportunity that was kicked away by Orange Beach. Alyssa Christensen, number seven. Now, Max, we didn't lay out to you the fact that if a ball comes at that camera, you're supposed to lay down in front of it. Okay. <laughs> Sacrifice your body. For yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're a little bit close to the field tonight, a little bit closer than we normally do. All about the angles. It's all about the angles. Yeah. 
Let's boot it out of bounds. Orange Beach working down in front of our goal. Is it their goal or our goal? That would be our goal. Okay. <laughs> They're gonna... I can see the confusion, though. It's where they're going. It's where they score their goals. But it is our goal. We are we defending defend our goal. Yes. Across to Katie Ford. Here's an opportunity. But a grab. Uh, oh, oh. oh, still loose. Still loose. Shot at goal. Katie Ford with a score. What a goal. Big time score, but Katie Ford there. One to nothing for uh, St. Michael. So you got about eight and a half minutes left in the game, approximately. Again, that's an unofficial clock. But the score is correct. It's one to nothing, St. Michael over Orange Beach. First half. And we'll look for Orange Beach to kick off from here. What an opportunity there. Good way to finish. Yeah, way to capitalize on a mistake, you know. Tenacious right there. She followed up on that ball. The 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 goalie had her hands on it, but Katie Ford kept fighting. Yeah. Followed it followed through and ended with the score. Way down in the corner. That corner kick there? Orange Beach corner kick. There is some slight wind you can see from the flag. It settled down a little bit, though. Yeah, right as, right as it was taken, it, it did calm down and was able to get it off. Good corner, but cleared out by the Cardinals. That's Francesca fighting for the ball. Draws a foul. Katie Ford, number six, will throw it in for us. Nope, I guess she won't throw it in. It's a, it's a kick from the spot of the foul. It's Alicia Christensen with the kick. She's number seven. Down over there to number three, that's Lizzie Stroud. Now, Lizzie just committed to... She just committed to a college for soccer, didn't she? I believe so. Although I don't know which college, but I'm pretty sure you are right. I heard it was a college in Mississippi. I'm not sure where the. They're not too far from home. There was there was someone with the un, unfortunate, I guess, situation of uh, committing to Birmingham Southern. Oh yeah, it was uh, Carson Maloney football. And uh, I think it was a volleyball player, too. I'm not I was thinking of somebody. So they'll have to look for another opportunity. Oh, yeah. Yeah, didn't they shut down? They yeah. are going to shut down at the yeah. end of the semester. I don't I don't think they just shut their doors uh, one day, but they... Uh, yeah, I don't really... Maybe they did. I don't know how they could hand out scholarships and then shut down. It's It's an odd situation. I don't understand it either. Very unfortunate, too. Really is a lot of people affected by that, not only the students, but the faculty, the town itself, Birmingham. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was a big college. They recruited a lot of people from down in this area uh, in, in different sports. Well, I actually heard uh, Spring Hill and Mobile, they're actually allowing all the Birmingham Southern people to transfer from Birmingham Southern to Spring Hill. Without, they'll carry all the fees and scholarship that the Birmingham Southern offer. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Hopefully a lifeline for some of those students. Oh, yeah, for sure. I can imagine just losing a scholarship like that, but it's good that another college is doing that. Orange Beach got out of an opportunity for St. Michael there. And Alyssa Thompson. Knocked it away with a stop there. She's with the ball right now, number seven. Keep 
Corner throw in or close to the corner throw in for Orange Beach. There's an opportunity for them shot on goal. Insane. But our keeper. There's that save you were talking about, Mark. Reagan Gregory. With the grab. I'm still amazed she's only she's only a seventh grader. Starting on varsity. It just allows you so much experience. Oh yeah. Yeah, she should have that spot for years to come. I think it was in it was last week's uh, Cardinal call outs were for uh Offsides, it looks the like. basketball player, uh, uh, Samantha Kakaska. She started playing when she was in seventh grade. And as a sophomore here, she reached 1,000 points and was named to the All-State team. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Heard she's running for vice president. She is. Now, how is that election going out there, fellas? Oh, uh, I think the election will be on Thursday, I believe. Yeah, I don't know when this. I don't know when the voting will be. I think it's a Google form that will be sent out. And I know there are five candidates for presidents. They are all juniors. I know three of them, but I could not tell you the other two. I'll tell you the one that I would vote for would be Jamison Calvary. Jamison Calvary. Don't be a lame-o. Vote for Jamison. <laughs> well, that, that is his slogan. <laughs> Passing out stickers all day. and I think I want one of those stickers, actually. That's an excellent slogan. I actually have uh, one of his hats. His hats are very nice. I have one of his shirts. He's been doing a lot of um, campaigning. Campaigning, yeah. And then someone else has been doing a ton of campaigning. Evan Helton. He is in the broadcasting class. Oh, yeah. If you check out our YouTube page, you can see all the videos we've posted about the candidates and who they want you to vote for. Check that out. That's uh, Sabrina Polito, number nine, who kicked it back across the way. From seven, number seven, uh, number seven, Alyssa Christensen, down to Katie Ford again. Katie Ford in another familiar position. Well, That's where she scored last time. Cleared away by Orange Beach. Lizzie Stroud. Heads down that side. She's number three, but eventually the keeper. Regan Gregory grabs it. There's a, a couple of things, though, that I, I, I do notice. Uh, again, I, I hate to admit my lack of soccer knowledge, but as watching the uh, soccer uh, goalies play, uh, Regan is, is very, I'll call it aggressive. She comes out, she uses her hands, she grabs that ball. And uh, Sam Edmondson pointed that out to me last week, that she has the, one of the only two players on the field allowed to use her hands. And there's halftime. Yeah, I will say, all the goalies practice together. and She is not afraid to come out even against some of the boys. So. Go ahead and just point that at the two different teams. Each of your cameras, it's uh, the two different teams, uh, Max, yours to Orange, and and uh, yours to the uh, Cardinals. And we'll put up the Cardinals here, and we are at halftime, one to nothing lead. That's right. For, uh, Unfortunately, I do have to go because I have to start warming up for the game at 7. Okay. Well, thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome, and and Max, if you'd like to take a break or something, you go right ahead. If you're willing to help me in the second half, that's awesome. Yeah, no, I'll help you in the second half. Oh, cool. Half. Go ahead and take a little break then. Okay, Max Cox, he's going to join me in the second half to help run the uh, the camera again. That is just awesome. There it is. Don't be a lame-o. Vote for JMO. Now, that's not an endorsement by me. That was I just read his <laughs> catchphrase. That's an excellent catchphrase there, uh, JMO, by the way. Jameson, I am uh, familiar with. Nice young man. From the Calvary family. And again, it's halftime here. They'll have about a 20 minute uh, half. And just briefly, again, it's one to nothing. We're above uh, Orange Beach at the moment. These guys, two teams are tied at 5 and 0 oh in region play with just uh, three games left on the uh, slate. Actually, two for the girls here. They'll play Orange Beach next Monday and uh, uh, Bayside yet. The boys play Friday at Fairhope at W.C. Majors Field, and then they travel to Orange Beach next Monday and then play Bayside with the girls again on Tuesday. So three games left for the boys after tonight. Two of them 
uh, region play. And both of them, both boys and girls, I believe, are tied for first place with Orange Beach. So big games tonight for both squads as far as regions standings and playoff seedings and all of that stuff as we reach towards the end of the regular season. Again, thank you for joining the Wild Carlin Network. We'll take just a little bit of a uh, break right here, and we'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you.
Welcome back. Getting ready for the uh, second half. Go ahead and put that blue one on again right there, Max, if you would. And it's Max Cox who's going to help me with the camera again for uh, camera number one. And you'll just follow the action the best you can because you're the only camera working there, Max. Thank you. And there's Max Cox as he joins us this evening. Volunteer. And Max, tell us a little bit about your, your what year are you at St. Michael? Oh, wait, your microphone isn't up. Max, where you're blue. Okay, Max, yeah. what, what year are you out there? I'm a sophomore. Sophomore at St. Michael. Yes, sir. You have any siblings? Uh, the, I'm, the Cox name, it sounds familiar. You got uh, any brothers, sisters out there? Oh, yeah, I have uh, two brothers. Two Alex brothers. Alex. Okay. It looks like pretty much the same lineup for St. Michael in the second half as the first. Oh, yeah. There's Tatum Hoffman, number 13. He's closest to the camera for you. Still very competitive game, so I think BD still has his players out there from the start. Maddie Key, number 11, number 23. Isabel Wingbermule. Wing, I got Wingbermule. Wingbermule, yeah. There's Maddie Key, number 11, battling for the ball right in front of the ring. Over to oh. Tatum Hoffman with a shot on goal. Just a little bit off to the right, though, and out of bounds. Almost had that, though. No, they're saying it's a corner, corner ball. Yeah, it is a corner. Yeah, the referee stands stubbornly <laughs> in the middle of the shot. I also have number two, Nora Weldon Montgomery. Uh, number 22, I'm sorry, Nora Weldon Montgomery. And number nine, as they run around the middle field, Sabrina Polito. Tried for a header there as yeah. Katie Ford is was in the middle of that scrum. Along with uh, Francesca Aureliano. Might as well come out front with you, Max, because I can't might as well I can't change the camera. Yeah. So why is there uh, two cameras? Well, if we could have another person. We would. Okay. Two cameras just kind of allows you a different perspective to cut away from a, a close shot and a far shot, but you really then you have to have that person sitting by the computer to change the cameras. Yeah. To do any good, so. Like I could I could run a second camera right now, but that wouldn't do any good. There's nobody at the computer to change the camera, so. Yeah. Makes sense. Well, this camera right here is. Can uh pretty much get the the whole field. There we go. There's a shot on goal. Nope, it's gathered up. Up oh, by uh, our goalie again, Reagan Gregory. Out to Katie Ford. Out to Tatum. Sabrina Polito with the ball right there, I think. That is Sabrina. Nice job, Max. Orange Beach brings it down to their side of the field again with an opportunity. They're outnumbered by three defenders there for St. Michael. It's Tatum Hoffman as she runs by number 13. Battles for the ball. Does a good job clearing the ball down the field for St. Michael. Way down the other side of the field. Oh, yeah. Back on defense for us, we have number 23, Isabel. Isabel, I'm sorry, Wing Vermeule. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say her name over and over again until I get it correct. Forgive me. Lizzie Stroud is back in the middle of the field for us here. Well, is Isabel Christensen, number seven, and Maddie Key, right in the middle there. Corner kick by Maddie. I don't think anybody got a 
head on it though. Is it all there? Chased down by Katie Ford. Brings it around the corner. It's out of bounds. Orange Beach will throw it in. Out of bounds. St. Michael's ball. No, oh, I'm sorry, Orange Beach. So the Mako's down in front of uh, our goal. Cleared away by St. Michael. Number eight there is uh, Francesca Aureliano. Off of Maddie Key and Orange Beach will throw it in. Okay, Ford, she's all over the place. Oh, yeah. Thought she was over here just a second ago. Still can't believe the goal she had uh, earlier in the game. Oh, yeah. Katie Ford with the only goal so far of the game. One to nothing still. St. Michael on top. They scored with about eight minutes left in the second half. First half, pardon me. They scored with about eight, eight and a half minutes left in the first half. It was Katie Ford with a tenacious follow-up. As the goal for uh, Orange Beach battled to get it into her hands, but she couldn't quite gather it up before Katie Ford stole it away and put it in the goal for our only score so far tonight. I got Brian Daughtry. Daughtry is the uh, coach, head coach for uh, the St. Michael Cardinals. You got uh, Whitney Bain and Tim Sears, the assistants. Lapita Rodriguez is the manager. And then Lindsay Fitz, of course, our athletic trainer. We saw Lindsay out earlier. As an Orange Beach player went down, and I think is still on the sidelines. I've been looking for her to come back in. I haven't seen her back in yet. But she was down for a long time. We hope she's okay. okay. Orange Beach, free kick there. Pointed at uh, yeah, pointing in the wrong direction there, but she fixed it, I think. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's Lizzie Stroud, number three. Got the orange shoes, about to kick it away. Oh, they switched. Alyssa Christensen, number seven. Down in the middle, but kind of intercepted by Orange Beach. Stays down on our side of the field, though. For now. Lizzie Stroud, number three, battling for the ball. They're doing a good job. Number nine is Sabrina Polito. As the ball is going to go out of bounds. Back behind the goalkeeper. Now, uh, Orange Beach is uh, undefeated in their region play, right? That's correct. Along with uh, St. Michael here, they're both tied at 5-0. and oh. Very competitive game. They'll play Orange Beach again. They're going to have to travel to Orange Beach uh, next Monday. Okay. It's a shot on goal. Way off to the uh, side, though. So no matter the outcome, each team will have their... Uh... They're shot back at back at the other, yes. 
But one team will walk out of this uh, game undefeated. Oh, yeah. And I feel like Osa, not not just uh, being undefeated, but Osa, I feel like you got the momentum over them when you get when you play them on Monday. Would be good. And then they'll finish with a game next Tuesday against Bayside. They are a region opponent as well. So okay. two, two more important games beside this one on the slate. Uh, this month of – these weeks of soccer are really important. Coming into just the last few games as they start the playoffs. And so, of course, as they're both tied for first place here, we're looking for playoff seeding. There's a whistle. St. Michael kick. Foul against Orange Beach. It's Maddie Key, number 11, who kicked for uh, St. Michael. Serena popped it back in there. Down to go down. Oh, that's Tatum actually going down. Tatum Hoffman with the shot. I go, oh, just a little bit off to the left, or the right, um, pardon me. Tatum Hoffman with a shot on goal, just a little bit off. Score remains 1 0 St. Michael. Somebody was there to pick up the rebound on that one. I think that would have definitely gone in. Here in the second half, you can only really guess how much time is left on the clock. Oh, yeah. Uh, they might have stopped it once or twice so far in the second half, but I'm, I'm guessing about 10 minutes have gone by, so I can leave another 30 minutes or so. Oh, wow. Oh, set it back inbounds by Maddie Key. Good effort there to keep it inbounds. And then there's a free kick for the Cardinals. I think it was a high kick. Sometimes if the kick get too high, then it's a, it's a dangerous play. So then the ref says the other team's ball. Nice kick. Way down in the middle. They were looking for a header. Picked up by the goalie. Coming down the field, number 23 in chase. Isabel, bring me Isabel Wingbermule. There it is again. You mispronounced it. See, I told you. I'm just going to say it though, over and over again until okay. I get it right. You get it? I got you. I can't just call her Isabel. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Forever, anyway. Oh, yeah. Wingbermule. Wingbermule. It was a little bit of a tricky last time you said. The spelling wants you to, to pronounce it maybe a little bit differently than that. Yeah. Thrown out of bounds by Isabel again. I could ask her how to pronounce it right now. <laughs> Good throw in there. Into Francesca. Back out of bounds again, and Isabel's going to throw it in again. A little further down the field. Maddie Key, number 11. Lizzie Stroud. Maddie Key is Defense. Nora Wilden there with the pressure. Maddie Key goes down. Lizzie Stroud chasing the ball down. Along with Isabel. Wing Bermule. Nora Weldon. Montgomery across the way. Number 18 is Dale Anderson. He's a fighter jet, for goodness sakes. You don't see that every day. 
I think there's an airport about, what, 10 minutes from here? Uh, there's Fairhope Airport. It's just yeah. a couple miles south here, just less than that. So. Yeah, yeah. But you don't see many fighter jets landing at the uh, uh-huh. Fairhope Airport. Uh-uh. And that was a kind of an older. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. It looked a little bit old. Like a, like a Vietnam era. Oh, I see the yellow card. What? Some discussion. Yeah, there must have been a yellow card given. Must be again against Orange Beach. Yeah, it looks like uh, Dela Anderson there. Oh, I saw I got tripped up. She got tripped up there, but uh, I Dale think Anderson. Must have on the Orange Beach, but I guess she must have said something to the ref. That is number 18, Dale Anderson. Coach Daughtery uh, wasn't involved in the conversation. Though. Uh-uh. No, he hasn't said a word yet, so we'll see. No, oh, he's going to get involved. Oh, yeah. We think there's been a yellow card called on 18. number 18, Dela Anderson. Looks like they're trying to explain the situation and find out what's going to happen. She is sitting down, it looks like. Yeah, she looks a little upset there. Feels perhaps it was unfairly called. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's, I mean, I've been playing soccer since I was six, and that, I've, I've had that feeling several times. Sure, the clock has stopped right now as well. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, you get calls like that all the time, but it's just part of the game. It looks like we're about ready to begin play again. There's a signal to start the clock, and there's the kick. Francesca, number eight. Number 21 is Caroline Callahan. It's like a Lisa moving the ball down there. Orange Beach throw in. I'll throw it in right in front of our bench. Yep. I hear no noise. I wouldn't think you'd hear some chanting or something. Softball, if you ever... Uh, Oh. Ten the girls softball game. They like to chant. So do the boys, yeah. actually. Oh yeah, the dugouts will get chanting away. Although I went to a Cardinals baseball game, I don't know why I didn't hear much chanting. I went to the Bayside uh, baseball game, and the the Bayside team was much more vocal than the oh yeah, St. Michael side. But the girls softball, they're all teams. Oh yeah. Enjoy I've, heard that. A, I've heard a girls softball team is actually pretty good. They're doing a, they're having a very good season. Oh yeah. Well, I remember last year they were uh actually I wouldn't say blowing out teams, but I know they were beating them by like 10 plus runs sometimes. They've had some real good comebacks here the last couple games that I've been to over UMS Wright in particular and okay. then just the other night they came back from uh 9 and 4 scooped up by the my old memory. Goal. Have to forgive me there who they were playing. I want to say it was uh Goodness, I forget. It was just, just last week. But the softball team doing very well. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they just had a tournament as well up in Thomasville. And then last night they played. They did lo- uh, lose last night. I believe Emma Marlowe, though, had four hits. Wow. On four at-bats. And then uh, I think our tennis team, I think, is also doing pretty good right now. Oh, I've seen that. And the girls' track team, there's been some personal records and some school oh, yeah. records broken recently. I don't know the measurements or anything, but I know Franklin Cash and uh, Addison Silvernail just set two new PRs for, um, I think it's pole vaulting, right? It's the one where you jump over the line with the pole. Yeah. yeah. They just set two new uh, pole vaulting PRs. Awesome. So very, very nice. First year of, uh, I think, doing pole vaulting, actually. The uh, girls' team was... uh. School records in the, I believe it was the oh, half mile. By Sabrina Polito. Blocked Two mile. Oh, blocked by the keeper. Good shot on goal. Oh, yeah. Very good shot. I'll let the game settle down a little bit before I continue with the track because the girls' track team uh, said, I believe it was the uh, two mile relay. The mile relay both sent had uh, school records set. 
And there you've got young ladies running both a 400 and 800 meters. Oh, yeah. Not the easiest thing in the world to do. No. The 400 is, is, is really almost a sprint, but the 800 meters, you got to pace yourself. Yeah, um, uh, Tia Acker, she was a senior last year, but she's going to South Alabama now for track. She, uh, I think she won six state championships in track for our school. Isabel throws in the ball. Maddie Key. Now number nine is Sabrina Polito. A little bit of back and forth there, but now it's down on our end. Chased down by Elizabeth Christensen. Yep. And down the field. Very good play. Getting away from our goal. So I'm going to encourage Max Cox to go out for broadcasting class next year. He's doing a very good job this evening. Thank you. It's an interesting way to watch the game, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Very interesting. Because you got to pay attention at all times. For sure. The moment you turn away is the moment they score. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was, uh, I think I caught the Katie Ford goal in the first half. I think I was talking to Mark about something, and I think I barely caught it. It was Francesca. Going down the field. Cross the chin. Into the oh. oh, batted away by Orange Beach and out of bounds. Yep, yep. Good cross. The referee's going to get us right in the middle of the camera again. Oh, yeah. We may move that a little bit next game. I'm sure he's got a rule that he's got to stand there or something. Who's helping you with the second game? I'm not sure. Would you like to? Um, you busy? I might check and see if I can. Uh, my dad's been calling me, but we'll see. You give him a call. But yeah, no, I'm. 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 Uh, I was talking to Mark about. It. I've. Uh, I've had some fun with this. So I might take this class next year. Down in the middle, batted away by Orange Beach, though. So. Yep. Katie Ford's got a hold of it. I'm sorry, that's not Katie. Isabel. That's Isabel Wingbermule. He said it right that time. Izzy Stroud, number three, down into Nora Weldon Montgomery. Key, number 11. Kicked it out to Francesca there. Right in front of our goal. There seems like opportunity for St. Michael here, but then the, the ref foul called call. There. I think I hear some expression there from uh, Coach BD. Yeah, it looked like they were setting up for a shot there. They they had people in what I, what looked to me like position for sure. Yeah. They did what they were wanting to do, but then the foul called. Oh, yeah. And the boys play Orange Beach after this game. We'll have another broadcast for that. Orange Beach down towards, oh, he had a bounce by uh, Lizzie Stroud. Yep. Goal kick, it looks like. And our goaler is uh, Reagan Gregory. Oh, actually, none. Corner kick for Orange Beach. Opportunity here for the Makos. They're down one to nothing right now. Should be about halfway through the second half. Kicked out by Francesca there. So not a corner kick, but now a throw in, I think, looks like. Orange Beach plays it up in the air. Oh, and the right. goalie picks it up. Reagan with the grab. What a save. Here goes another fighter jet. Oh, yeah. Very That's just odd. They're 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 like I I don't know fighter jet names, but they're they're like seventies uh, era yeah. uh, fighter jets, not the newer looking, stealthy looking things. And they're nice and loud too. Obviously, landing at the Fairhope uh, Airport, yeah. about three miles to our south. Now I'm still new to this camera thing, and I'm I don't know. I think I might have just pressed the red button on accident. Is the camera still rolling? What that does is it starts recording, and you would see a red uh, light come on, but it just starts recording inside of the camera itself. Okay. It really doesn't hurt anything. You can okay. press it to make sure it's off if you like. or you. But it's still on? I don't think it is because a red light would turn on right up in, in uh, right here, okay. function light. So I don't think you're, I think you're good. Just didn't want to make sure I just stopped the camera mid-game there. I should check that once in a while, shouldn't I? <laughs> the battery doesn't run dead on this or anything. This one's on 80, so I think you're good here. 
yeah, we're still we still got Max Cox on camera one for the Wild Cardinal Network. One nothing lead for St. Michael as we're taking on the Orange Beach Mecos this evening. Tuesday night game for the Cardinals. And a region game as we've been talking about, tied with Orange Beach at five and zero right now. So a big game, important game. Yeah. Well, we had the lead right now, so if we come out of here with the win, that'd be big. Coach Beatty does a very good job coaching this team and making sure, making sure they win. They seem prepared. Oh yeah. Yes, uh, he's a substitute teacher sometimes at uh at our school, and uh, he's actually substituting for my class today, and that's why I'm actually here. He was like, Max, I know you you know a little bit about you know a little bit of the ball, so he's like, come out there and have a help, Mr. Tony. Out. So that's why I'm here. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, that uh, was nice of him. Oh yeah. Hopefully, he'll come across and have some comments for us on the girls' game afterwards. Oh yeah. While we're playing the boys, I'm gonna turn. And we're just off right now to save battery. I think that was a handball on Lizzie Stroud there. I think they just called it. So, big opportunity for both teams. Let's see if uh, see. Reagan Gregory, our goalkeeper down here, the pressure will be on her. Yeah. And our defense. But she's got a very good defense, I think. Lining up three abreast. Shouldn't be a problem. Three on the wall there. Looks a little bit more than 10. I think they could have gotten closer, but that's all right. It's oh. a header by Orange Beach, but caught by Reagan in midair. I, I thought that was, uh, got a little nervous there for a second, but Reagan had no problem catching that. It was set up nicely by the, uh, by the kick. Oh, yeah. Orange Beach did a nice job setting up what they wanted to do, but the header not able to get in, and Reagan grabs it out of midair. Maddie Key nice. with a the steal there. Yep, nice steal by Maddie there. Kicked down the field by Orange Beach. Picked up by Orange Beach. More well than kicks it. Passes to Maddie. Oh. See if the Cardinals can get the ball moving. Oh. Francesca picked it back up. Crosses it in. Saved by the goalie. Shot by Maddie though. Good shot on target shot. Maddie Key, she's been uh, quite aggressive tonight. Oh yeah. She's always pretty aggressive on the ball. Very good player. Nora Weldon Montgomery there. Number twenty two. Sabrina Polito with the ball right now. Dragged back by her. Goalie's, goalie's out of position there. Oh, yeah. Another shot by Katie. That would have been, been pretty cool if she had a second goal there. Katie Ford was the only score yet tonight. Almost had her second there. She scored in the first half, and we've been scoreless since. Very competitive game. There's been a lot of opportunity, actually, for both teams. I, I think uh, St. Michael's made it a little bit more control time, if I can call it that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I almost wanted to say, uh, I don't think we had been in their uh, side. Kicked in, corner kick to Right in the middle. Oh, oh. kicked away, though. Yeah, that was close. That's Francesca, number eight, I'm sorry. It was in the middle right there. Another corner kick for the Cardinals. Yeah, I almost wanted to say, uh, I thought Coach Beattie was playing a little bit more of a defensive side there. We hadn't been on their side of the field for a bit, but we've been we've had two corner kicks now. Let's see if we can capitalize on one. Loose in the middle there, though gathered up by the goalkeeper for Orange Beach. And the Makos will clear it. Z Stroud right at midfield. Headed by her. Number five is Jenna Thompson. 
Lizzie Stroud with the ball. Clear. Lizzie to Maddie. Maddie. Good ball there. Maddie's got a little room. Oh, yeah. Let's we'll see who she'll, she'll do. Good play. Good play. Francesca. Francesca. She's a very good player, actually. I think she had uh, about 40 or 50 goals I fucking remember last season. Wow. Yeah. No, she was she was really good. I don't know how many she has this season, but there's a whistle blown by the uh referee substitute. Well, we had an opportunity to. <clears throat> and number eighteen, uh Dayla Anderson comes back in. Onto the yellow card, she seemed she she seems okay. I don't think she was just probably just a little bit shaken up. Unfair call, maybe. But glad she's okay. I thought I was just a little nervous that she was hurt. She's a very good player. Let's see. Lizzie Stroud battling for the ball. Clear it out of the way, and there goes Melissa Christensen after. Kick to Isabel by Lisa. Beach ball, they just booted it down. Header by Lizzie. Header by Sabrina, I think. It's Maddie Key. She's been very active. Lizzie Stroud. And Isabel. Wing Bermuda. Said it last, said it correct the last two times now. Maddie has a shot there. Oh, caught right at midair through the goalkeeper. Orange Beach goalies had a pretty good game uh, besides that one error. Kick down the field by Orange Beach. No, 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 no. Uh. They called a foul, apparently, there. Yeah. It was a little bit of a late whistle. Yeah, a little bit of a late whistle. I didn't see too much contact there, but, yeah, you never know. She rolled on the ground pretty good. Yeah. Might have been a little bit of acting. Oh, yeah. Now, hopefully this doesn't end up in a goal. Let's see what Reagan will do. Our defense will do. Oh, nice. And that's Reagan Gregory. Gathers it up. Good curveball there by Orange Beach, but Reagan caught it up there. Down back in our box. Reagan has the ball now. Comes out for it. Yep. Now she plays a long ball. Just hoping it wouldn't hit me. Didn't. Francesca. She gets past the Orange Beach player. Thought it was a. Thought, I thought that should have been called. Ayla Anderson. Always swoops it up there. Yeah, I was uh, I was actually talking to Mark there. Um, oh, play short. Let's see. Played in there. Isabel. Lizzie Stroud back out to Isabel. Getting a little close here to us. There goes another one. Oh, yeah. No, I saw that. <laughs> oh, they're just way down by our goal. Let's see. Foul. Foul by Orange Beach. Kick it to spot of the foul for St. Michael. I have seen air shows at the... Uh, Fair Hope Airport, but I haven't really? heard of anything. 
I didn't know they had them there. Francesca down the field. Picked up Tried to get feet. it to Sabrina. Picked down the field again. It's Alyssa. Picked up by Orange Beach. Francesca is with the pressure. There's some substitutions coming in for St. Michael. Dale Anderson goes off the field again. Looks like Tatum Hoffman coming in for her. Still 1 0 game. I'm Coach BD. I'm probably wanting wanting to know what uh, the time is. I'm sure he's he's has the pressure right now. Guessing we got ten minutes left, maybe a little less, eight minutes or so. Now the Cardinals had the lead. Honestly, you just got to hold it in this type of situation. Yeah, if uh, Orange Beach, they would. Start to get a little more yeah. panicky, perhaps, as the clock winds down. I'm sure the coach over at Orange Beach knows how much time is on. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Nora passes it to Maddie. Maddie passes it back to Nora. Plays with Francesca in the middle. I think she wants to play a through ball to Tatum there, but... Didn't quite get there. Goalkeeper came way out of box for that. Yep. She's actually had a pretty good game. Props to her. Tatum Hoffman Drop shot. Tatum. No, a little bit off to the left for Tatum. I thought that was going in. It looked like it. Had to be fairly close. Our angle a little bit bad for a shot like that, but it sure looked close. Oh, yeah. I thought that was clear going in. Place goalie plays the short there, the defense player. Tatum with the pressure. We'll call a foul on Tatum there. Or no, it was against Orange Beach. Against Orange Beach, yeah. Maddie Key with a kick. See, a almost, little almost, bit off to the left. Almost to the left corner. Good shot. Trying for that dead corner up in the left. Oh, yeah. A little bit off. Yeah, it looks like Orange Beach is now trying to play some hurry-up ball now. These are the games that make or break your season. Both teams very good, though, so I don't know. I wouldn't say break or make, but definitely choose your playoff spot. Make a big difference, especially when you got yeah. another game against them. Oh, yeah. If you put up two losses against them, that could really cost you. Oh, yeah. Especially with Bayside standing off on the sidelines in a game against them yeah. still on the schedule. Yeah, I was actually, uh, when I looked at uh, Max Preps today, I was actually quite surprised to see the Orange Beach girls and uh, Orange Beach girls team doing pretty well. Normally, Orange Beach, I don't think they do too hot in uh, soccer sports. But this year, they're having a good year. So, St. Michael Cardinals team having to worry about Orange Beach and Bayside this year. Um, they played that soon. I think they mercy ruled them. I think nine owed them. I believe and, so. Yeah. Yeah. I believe St. Sum is one and one and four in the conference. And then, uh, how was um UMS? How did they play against UMS? I, um, they obviously beat them. But... Yeah, they beat them twice. <clears throat> played very good games. Um, if I remember right, it was like. Uh, five, three, four, three, something like that. Okay. Four, two. So pretty good wins. Kicked by Francesca. Deflected by Orange Beach. Maddie plays to Lisa. Or, no, Jenna. Jenna there. That is Jenna Thompson, number five. Orange Beach trying to play some hurry, ball, hurry up ball. They should. I'm, I'm guessing we're around five minutes left in the oh, half. Yeah. That would be for the second half, so just a few minutes left in the game. Orange Beach down by one. Katie Ford with the only uh, goal so far tonight. 
Really good goal. Scored that about halfway through the first half. Been scoreless since. She might be the she might be the player of the game besides uh maybe Reagan. She has, Reagan's had a lot of saves, but Reagan's Katie, had some good saves. Maddie Key's been all over the place. Oh, she has been. Tatum Hoffman. But although without that goal, shots it'd be a tie right now. So very good goal by Katie there. To good defense to too. Oh uh, yeah, very I, good uh, defense. St. Michael all the way around. A lot of calls have been made in this game, so it's a very rough game. There's Dela back out there. A lot of people, I think, kind of mistake soccer as being a kind of like a weaker sport on the aggression side, but it can get it can get pretty aggressive sometimes. Very physical. Very physical. There's bound to be some bumps and bruises. Oh yeah. At the end of every game. Goalie kicks it to the left center back there. As Max Cox is joining us for the first time, we told talked about it, the fact that this is an interesting perspective. It, it gives you a little bit of interesting, interesting perspective on the referees as well because you're paying a little bit more attention to Oh, them. yeah. That's what they're saying. What they're doing. Hurry up ball by Orange Beach. Kicks it to the right center back. Long ball to 13. Oh, well done there with the deflection. Francesca picks it up. Oh, Francesca, there's a um, player from Orange Beach ends up on the ground. I kind of thought, I kind of saw that thought. I was going to get called on us, but it's all right. Foul on Francesca. I kind of want to ask the ref how much time's left. Uh oh, looks like number 17 starts there. Bob a little bit. Let's see if she says, I guess he's trying to walk it off. If they stop the clock, she has to leave the field. So yes. that's the game. That's there it is. There it is. Yeah. One to nothing victory for uh, the St. Michael Cardinals over the Orange Beach Makos tonight. That leaves them in first place alone for 4A Region 1 with three games to go in their season, two games to go in the girls' season. The girls will play Orange Beach next Monday at, at the Makos field and then uh, Bayside away as well. So this was the last home game for the girls. Uh, they're 6-0 and in region play with just two games to go. So, but a real big win tonight to keep them undefeated oh, yeah. in region play. And the boys will play next against Orange Beach and the Makos. Again, thank you very much for joining us. This has been Tony Madsen for the Wild Cardinal Network. I've had Max Cox uh, help me out tonight with the camera. Awesome to have him here. And then uh, Mark Flynn as uh, well. Again, thank you for joining us. Remember to subscribe and like if you're watching this broadcast. St. Michael, defend us.